in this video, we will be talking about redox reactions or the oxidation reduction reactions and its practical application to the real life. Redox reaction involves the movement of electrons from one atom to the other. It means one atom is actually losing electrons while the other is gaining that electron. Oxidation means that the atom is losing electrons, while reduction means that the atom is gaining electrons. To easily remember this pattern, just be familiar with the mnemonic's oil rig. When an atom loses electrons, it is said to be a reducing agent, while when it gains electrons, it is said to be an oxidizing agent. So this might be confusing again, so remember the mnemonics Leora and Jeroa. Losing electrons is oxidation, so it is a reducing agent. While gaining electrons is reduction, so it is an oxidizing agent. In this diagram, atom A loses electrons, while atom B is gaining that electron. So atom A is oxidized, while atom B is reduced. Therefore, atom A is a reducing agent, while atom B is an oxidizing agent. One practical application of this is the photosynthesis process happening in plants. Photosynthesis happens when carbon dioxide and water together with the light energy interacts to form carbohydrate or the glucose plus oxygen. It turns out that in this chemical equation, there are two reactions of photosynthesis taking place, the light reaction and a dark reaction. For the first step, we have a light reaction taking place when the oxygen in water is oxidized by the light energy. H here represents a reducing agent. For the step 2, we have the hydrogen reduces the carbon in carbon dioxide, a type of dark reaction. Since oxygen has a negative 2 oxidation number, and the oxidation numbers of a certain molecule should always be equal to 0, so it means that the oxygen has a total of negative 4, leaving carbon with a positive 4 oxidation state. We can see that its oxidation state turns from positive 4 to 0. Hydrogen has an oxidation state of positive 1, making the hydrogen here positive 2 and the oxygen negative 2, leaving everything else 0. So in this application, we can see that photosynthesis is undergoing a redox reaction.